Hey guys, Fernando Perez here. Someone asked me on Instagram how to get rid of stubborn spirits. Let me say something. There's not such a thing as obedient evil spirits, okay? Obedient demons, nice demons, okay? Every evil spirit, every demonic power is rebellious, disobedient, and stubborn, amen? And so this thing about, oh, I'm dealing with a stubborn spirit. Listen, every spirit is stubborn, <laughs> amen? Uh, every demonic power is stubborn, is rebellious. So how do you get rid of them? You get rid of them uh, by prayer and fasting. The Bible says that there are certain kinds of spirits that does not come out but by praying and fasting. Amen. Praying and fasting breaks the hold of demonic powers. Amen. And the most important one, okay, that praying and fasting is powerful, but as I you know often say, I believe that there's something more powerful than praying fasting that is called daily surrender to Christ. Amen. When we surrender to Jesus Christ and when we walk in the light, when we walk according to the Bible, amen, not according to this world, but according to the Bible, then guess what? Demons will not be able to stand against you. Demons will not be able to have a hold on your life. Amen. Because light and darkness cannot dwell in the same place. So when a person is filled, uh, filled with God, when a person is living according to the Bible, uh, living according to the truth, demons will have to pack their belongings and go somewhere else to bother somebody that is living in rebellion and disobedience, amen? But when a child of God is walking with one foot in the world, one foot, okay, in God's kingdom, living a compromising life, then guess what? Uh, you know, demons will uh, 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 oppress, demons will hinder your life, uh, amen? The Bible says when an unclean spirit comes out out of a man, it goes to solid and dry places looking for rest, and when finds none, it goes back. Amen. That's why a lot of people they are, you know, they listen to deliverance prayers. Uh, it helps them, you know, for you know for a season, for a day, a week, and then those things come back. Why? Because as long as a person is keeping, is keep living according to the world, is keep living uh, a compromising life, demons will always. Uh, be stubborn uh, uh, and uh, and have their ways in that person's life. Amen. But the moment that person close the doors, live according to the Bible, walk in surrender to Christ, demons will no longer be able to oppress or to or to hinder that person or to have their ways in their lives. Amen. So that's why you know my calling, my desire as a minister of the gospel, is to connect you, you that are listening to me right now. My desire is to connect you, okay, to Jesus Christ, because demons does not leave you or, uh, alone just because you listen to your favorite preacher on YouTube, okay? I've said this, you know, and I'm going to continue to say this, okay, because I am a a minister, I'm on YouTube, I love helping people, it's a great platform, it's a great way of helping people, but I'll tell you, uh, you know, my goal, my desire is to lead you to Christ so that you can have a life of prayer, you can develop a strong life with God, that's the only way that you're going to overcome, that you're going to defeat demons. You can listen to your favorite preachers on YouTube all day long. And it's not going to help you. If you keep living with one foot in God's kingdom and one foot in the world, the enemy will always uh, have, you know, uh, always going to control your life. But the moment you establish a life of prayer, you walk with Jesus, demons will automatically, they're going to leave you. This is this has happened to me, people of God. Some of you heard of my testimony many times as a young man full of devils. Okay, I had them all. Okay, I was full of devils, and 
I didn't need one person, okay? I didn't have one person laying hands on my head and casting out demons out of me, okay? When the moment that I surrendered to Christ and I made a commitment to follow Jesus Christ with all my heart, demons, all those demons that had a hold on my life, they began to leave one by one. Just they couldn't stay because now I was, I was no longer in the kingdom of darkness. I was no longer living uh, to, you know, for the pleasures of this world. I was living for Jesus. I was aligning my life with God's word and demons were just leaving me. It was just leaving. They couldn't stay. It was too much fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Burning them away from my life. So make a commitment to follow Jesus with all your heart and every demon that got a hold on your life will leave you because you are a child of God that is walking in the light, not in the darkness, but walking in the light. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day. If you're blessed by this video, drop your like, subscribe to the channel, uh, like this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.